everyone, my name is Paul Ingalls. I'm principal of Kohi Marama School. So Kohi Marama is 101 years old uh, this year. And in that time, it's gone through a whole lot of transitions as a school, but I'll come on to that. We're currently at SL10 School. We're in uh, East Auckland. Um, and I think we service uh, the communities of Kohi Marama and Mission Bay and our main groups. Uh, this school has gone through a number of uh, changes over the last three to four years. Uh, specifically, we've been uh, moving very much towards a more learner agentic approach to learning. Um, and tied in with that is a change to the pedagogy that our teachers are using. Uh, and alongside that, um, School Talk has come in and supported us uh, to be able to uh, ensure that learner agency remained a key focus in both the learner design uh, and in the way that students respond. In speaking with a number of students and their families about the onboarding of School Talk, um, numbers of them would tell me that their children would check the calendar before they even went into school to get themselves familiar with what today's program would look like for them uh, and be able to allocate themselves to an appropriate workshop. So this really showed agency had been um, well and truly received, but also that they could see how their agency could be um, employed by using school talk uh, and being able to manage their day. And that's continuing on. So in our senior school, we are not running by a, um, a full-time calendar. We're allowing children to opt in and out of workshops and so on throughout the day. So again, that just enhances that agency. One way that School Talk supports me and um, knowing what to focus on next is the use of the gap analysis. Um, it's a very useful tool. Um, I'm able to hone in on specific goals and learning areas and specific students and really see what is it, what is any gaps in their learning and what's something next that I need to focus on and the progression um, allow me to do that as well. A shift that I've definitely seen amongst my learners is their buy-in to their own learning and um, they definitely take a lot more responsibility of their learning and the progress that they are making. Um, I've also seen a massive shift in their assessment capabilities. Um, it definitely occurs through the uploading of evidence um, and the ticking off of their own goals and reflecting on their learning when they upload evidence. Um, it is because of school talk because there is no other system in place where they're able to identify what they've achieved and how they've achieved it and be able to assess and see their progress. Because they have access to their progressions, because they have access to all of their learning, we didn't see the massive drop off over COVID being, you know, home learning and they were able to access their learning, they were able to still upload to their progressions so we can mark the same way we always do. Um, but yeah, learners are able to see where they're at, what their next steps are, and they can be far more active and involved in their learning. So they get the ownership and they, they feel that real sense of, I've accomplished something. It's made me far more efficient. Um, instead of double handling the information, I am putting it on the one platform. Um, especially when it comes to marking. So if I'm marking a student's book, they can take a photo and they upload it so that all of the information is on school talk it's a one-stop shop my learning design is there the parents can see it the learners can see it all of the assessment is there it's all very transparent it makes planning so much faster so much easier and way more streamlined school talk supports my learning by making it easier to access my work and it shows what i'm up to and what to focus on next school talk um, supports me to decide what to focus on next um, as I can plan with more precision and target knowledge that my students don't have. Like, I can like see the gaps in their learning um, and as a whole class it means I can go okay this group of students don't have um, number knowledge to do with rounding and it means that I can group them and I don't have to do pretests or anything like that it's already there, so we skip that but and it means that we've got more I guess learning time well my parents can access school talk and they can see what I've been up to and so I can like, show them you can click on an event and it's got like a link for these slides that you can go on to and it's got like all the stuff that your instructions and the stuff you need to do so you can show your parents what you've been up to with teachers 
the collaborative planning enabled us to be able to see teachers really thinking about what they were doing in terms of their learning and also be able to uh, share those resources and the things that they were doing. So it didn't become a, a sort of an individual teacher with an individual class, it became a team sport whereby uh, everyone was able to be together, uh, working together to achieve the same ends. One way that school talk impacts a student's learning journey is um, they're able to see their learning journey right from when they start at Kujimarama School and for most of our students that is in year zero and that learning journey stays with them right up until they leave Kujimarama um, and parents are able to see that too and they're able to see their learning journey especially through the reporting process that we take and the um, graphs that school will create. Each year we spend some time ahead of reports going out in terms of any modifications that we need for our school and have found the technicians and uh, Emily in particular are very willing and able to be involved in development of our specific school report design.